Hello everyone, welcome to the part number four of this uh, milestone number four. So what we're gonna do for this one is gonna be about designing the caption screen. So the one just after the where we pick the image. So that's gonna be the last screen before you can send a, a photo to the, the server. So this is what that's gonna look like, not a crazy design, just pretty simple. Uh, here we're gonna be able to see the photo we just have uh, picked. And after that, uh, here we can write some caption, that increase here. And also after that, we can have, we're gonna create a tag page where a user can finally search between the tag we have, etc. So this is this is what we're gonna do. So uh, now uh, the plan is gonna be about uh, when we click here on a photo, we want to have a next button just showing there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go inside the create photo screen. And in this one, what we're gonna do, it's we're gonna do inside the select function right there, we're gonna add a function from a React Native Navigation where finally we can show a button. So what we're gonna do, it's right there, we're gonna say this, that props, that navigator. So here we know we're gonna have a, a photo select. So this, that props, that navigator, that set button. So here you can set the button you want. And this thing, it's a function will take an object where you can have a key called right button will take an array. Inside this one, we're gonna add one with an ID of go to caption. Remember, this ID need to be unique. And the title is gonna be next. So this way, because we have a title, it's gonna take just, uh, that's gonna be a text, uh, yeah. no icon, nothing. And after that, here what we can add also, it's animated to be true. Okay, so now if we run this code, I'm gonna just put my thing like that. Sorry about that. Okay, so now if we check what's gonna happen, I'm gonna click and now you see we get this next button right there. But now this next do nothing when I click on it. So what I can do for that, it's uh, we're gonna do like we did on the other one where we can finally bind the navigator. It's gonna be about be about binding uh, the navigation uh, function here inside the constructor so what we're gonna do it's finally here we're gonna add the constructor right there where we're gonna have the props we're gonna have the super right there where we're gonna have also the props now we can say this we're gonna just finally cut this thing and passing it right there and now right there we're gonna do like we've done on the other page it's we're gonna create a function called on navigator even. So on navigator even, where here we're gonna have an even. And now what we can do here it's if e that type equal nav bar button press here. Now we can do a if e that id equal the id we have put. So this go to caption. So that id equal go to caption. Now here we can do something with that. So what we're gonna do, it's we're gonna, this that props that navigator that push, we're gonna push a new screen. And this screen is gonna be the Instagram clone dot caption screen. We're gonna create this one, don't worry. We're gonna have a title of new post. And also we're gonna pass props. So here, this pass props function here, gonna give you access to the key you put here. So here, that's gonna be image. So we can use the image we have here inside the select by saying this that props that image. And now here, what we're gonna pass is this that state that's selected, okay? So now we're gonna create a new screen, caption screen. Inside this one, we're gonna do a really quick component. So we're gonna create that as a per component. We're gonna have a view text style sheet a style sheet we're gonna do just do really simple thing here with a root of flex one we're gonna create really sorry we're gonna create a caption screen right there where here the component is going to be now a per component now here we're gonna have a view with a style of root And inside this one, nothing crazy, but just the text. If I can type, hello, okay? Now, what we're gonna do is this caption screen, we're gonna go inside the index.js from uh, the screen folder. We're gonna finally import a caption screen. 
we're gonna copy paste this one and finally we're gonna just change both caption screen right there so we're gonna register this new component so now if i came here and i click on a photo and i click next nothing happened why it's because now we have forget to bind this thing so now we can, what we can do is we can say props that navigator that set on navigator event so finally you we're gonna finally bind the this that on navigator event that bind this right inside the constructor and why we don't use this that props is because we have the props here inside the constructor like that so now if i say next we get to the new post page so you see we get uh, to this place so now we're gonna close this page we don't need any more liquid photo screen and now we have access to the photo okay just by showing you what i'm gonna do it's right there. i'm gonna console log this that props and i'm gonna set this that props okay so now you're gonna see right there the props of what we're gonna get so if i close this one i select one and i click next with the props we got, we get all the navigator stuff, blah, blah, blah. And we also get the image where it's a node. And this node has the image. And inside the image, we have the uh, file name right there. And we have all the stuff and the URI, the one we need. Okay. So now we're going to design this stuff really quick. So what we're going to do, it's we're going to put here a view. So we're going to replace this text with a view. This view here gonna have another view inside that. And this view here gonna have a style of image wrapper. And this one's gonna have a style of headers. Okay. We're gonna just put this both here, headers, and image wrapper. After that, we're gonna have another one called image. Because here we're gonna have an image right there. So we can call image. And the image here, what we're going to do, it's this one's going to have the style of image. And the source now is going to be equal to this, that props, that image, that node, that image, that URI. So the thing I just showed you right there, okay? So now we have the image. So now how can we design this headers and this image wrapper? It's going to be pretty simple. The header is going to have a height of 150 and a flex direction of row image wrapper is going to have a flex of 0 0.4 and a justify contain of center and an align item of center so if i would if i do this what's going to happen now it's uh, the, oh yeah we don't going to see nothing because the image have nothing so for the image we're going to have a height of 100 and a width of 70 pixel okay and now that's going to look Pretty boring, but at least we're gonna get this image right there, okay? Now, we're gonna create a new view, inside, uh, still inside the headers, right there. But now this view here is gonna be the caption wrapper, okay? So style that caption wrapper. This caption wrapper is gonna be the finally the box of the input, okay? So this one, we're gonna say flex of one, so take all the space we still have. And you're gonna have both justify and adding item center. So we can just paste this thing here. So now if I do this, what's gonna happen? It's that gonna push a bit the, the image we have, okay? To the left. So here, now we have all the other space. If you want to see that maybe better way, a better way like that. If I say background color of red, what's gonna happen is the caption wrapper gonna take all the other space we have right there, okay? So now we can put a, we can put a text input right there. So I'm going to import the text input from the React Native. And now this text input, it's going to be right there. First thing, we're going to have a placeholder of, I think I've say, write a caption, write a caption, dot, dot, dot. And now I'm going to just remove this red. Okay. So now if I put my input like that, what's going to happen? It's my input is going to be just like this in the middle. Okay. So that's what we're going to design this input. So how can we do this? It's going to be pretty simple. So first thing, don't forget to say, uh, I'm going to call that caption input just to make sure. Oops, Caption input. And this one's going to have that inside this style right there. Like this. And the caption input, going to take a width of 100 
pixel of each parent, so all the flex. And we're gonna also say padding vertical, so that means padding from the top to the bottom, we're gonna say 10. And we say padding right, only of 10, okay? And now we're gonna say height of 100. So now if we look at this, what's gonna happen with the caption, it's uh, the input, it's gonna take the space right there. But the thing is, if I type, you see I'm still in one line. So how can we manage that is by just passing the multi-line property inside that. Because it's multi-line equal to true, we don't need to say equal true. So now if I do this, now you see the right back action come at the top. And now if I type, we get, take all the space, okay? Okay, and now what we're gonna do, it's we're gonna create inside the state here a caption, who's gonna be an empty string by default, just to build a controlled input right there. So we're gonna say value equal to this, that state, that caption. Okay. Now we can remove this console log. And now here I'm gonna create on caption change. This this callback here, gonna receive the caption. Oops. And you're gonna just finally set the state of the value to the state, like that. And that's going to be on change text. So, oops, on change text. So that's going to be the function where we're going to call the on caption change. <clears throat> so now we're going to have nothing going to have changed for you, but at least now we keep track of what is the caption. Now what we can do also it's for the Android user. I think we need to say underline color Android or GBA, and we're going to say zero 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 just to don't get the underline uh, on the text input. Now, what we're going to do, it's as you see right now, what I miss, it's like a, this kind of a divider. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create this component really quick. But before that, I'm going to go inside my team and I'm going to create a color that yes. So this thing going to be uh, going to be uh, an object where finally we're going to just do. Uh, I think I'm going to like it much more if I say like that. And I'm going to say light gray. Okay, I'm going to create a fun, uh, color called light gray. And this color, finally, is going to be just a C1, uh, C9, C9, and D3, like that, okay? Now I'm going to take this color inside that, export everything from color. And now, if I go here, uh, if I go to my component, I'm going to create a new one called divider.js. And this divider.js is going to be finally just a view with the height of one. We're going to take the full space and the background color, nothing more. So import React. From React Native, we need the view and the style sheet. We're going to see here a root of height of one, width of 100 pixel, uh, percent. So take the full space of the parent. Background color now, what we're gonna say is we're gonna import this color so from the team. So you till team and now I can say colors. So here that gonna let me do in color that light gray. And now I'm gonna say margin vertical. So margin from the top to the bottom, I'm gonna say five. So nothing can be at five pixels from the top to the bottom uh, from it. So now I'm gonna export default a function called divider. And this divider is going to take nothing more than just nothing as a props, but going to just return a view finally with the st style of root, okay? So it's just a really plain uh, component. And now what I can do here, it's because I want to import all that from the index, I'm going to show you something. Because we import that, export that as a default, we can export default as divider from the divider right there. And now, because of this, I can do this with the photo card also. Like that. So now it's going to be a bit more cleaner. Okay, so now what I can do, it's take this divider from my component folder. You see like that? And now what I can do, it's just right there, putting the divider. So now if we look, what happened, it's now we get this line. <laughs> it was just for that, but at least now that's gonna be, uh, that's gonna help us in the long run. So now what we can do here, it's putting another view here. 
and this view and uh, not a view we're gonna use touchable because we need the row to be touchable so we're gonna say touchable from app and flow touchable so now we're gonna say touchable touchable right there too don't forget to pass the uh, feedback to be opacity and now this one's gonna be pretty simple we're gonna have a view here where finally we're gonna just say text of tags and another one here where we're gonna import from the uh, vector icon so eon icons from vector icon eon icon like that so now we're gonna have this icon and this one's gonna have the name of ios arrow forward with a size of 20. so now if we get that we get that row there and the tag but now as you can see we need to put that as a flex direction row so we're gonna create here as a style in the touchable of list item this list item now i'm gonna have a good amount of css we're gonna see finally a height of 40 width of 100 percent border button width of one so we're just gonna have finally a line below each of them so this way uh, <laughs> that's gonna be easier for us to have just like looking to be uh, this item and not to divide our each of top of the other one so now here we're gonna need also to import the color we just create so from the util folder so util team and we're gonna say here border button color color that light gray we're gonna set after that padding horizontals uh, horizontal horizontal so the padding from the left to the right 16 so 16 right 16 left align item center justify contain space between so we want each element to go at the extremity of the list item and finally the flex direction row this is where the magic came so now if i save this thing what's gonna happen now it will get this line okay first thing here you see the color is not right we not want the color to be gray so like gray like that and now also uh for the text i think we can keep like that so now you see when i click on that it's pretty nice so this is the touchable thing came up for us i think also we don't need to have the view here but i'm gonna show you why we do this in the future video so now the only thing i think happened it's now we have the keyboard okay and now how we want to close the keyboard if we click outside okay so what we can do for that is going to be really easy we're going to import a keyboard we're going to wrap this view right there to be a touchable and now make sure now the feedback is going to be none and for the android part we want to disable the native okay because by default we're going to see the repo and now here we can see on press keyboard that dismiss don't call it here just put the dismiss like that so now what is gonna happen it's now if i open my keyboard and i click outside you see we close it so i think it's just better for the user experience okay so that's it for this screen and that's it for this video so that was pretty quick that was just about the uh, putting this uh this one but you see now because we pass props uh if you think that's gonna change this red caption thing okay i think it's pretty nice so now what we're gonna left to do it's writing a caption or not and maybe a choosing tag and after that here we're gonna have the share button right at the top and now we're gonna upload that to the back end that's gonna be in the next video so i hope you enjoy this one and we're gonna talk in the next one uh, remember the code is on github and the github repo is in the description have a good night, everyone. Bye.